Good morning children. Hope you all are fine and safe while staying at your home. This is class 10th. Subject Mathematics. Name of the book is NCERT. Chapter number 3. A pair of linear equations in two variables. Lecture number 4. Children, in previous lecture, you learnt about substitution method, which is a method to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables. In today's topic, I am going to cover the word problems of substitution method. Children, before I switch to the word problems, let us once recall substitution method. In substitution method, first of all, you will have to find the value of one variable in the form of other variable from any of the equations. After that, you will be putting that value in another equation to obtain a linear equation in one variable and then you have to solve it. So, let us start word problems. This is question number 3, first part. Exercise 3.3. The difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is 3 times the other. Find them using substitution method. So what is to be done? Let two numbers be x and y. Where I have taken x is greater than y. Why I have taken this? Because the difference between two numbers is given which is 26. So definitely one number will be greater than the other. Then and only then you can take the difference. So according to question, the difference between the greater and the smaller number is 26. That is x minus y is equal to 26. Now read next line of the question. One number is 3 times the other. Definitely the bigger number will be 3 times of the other number. Right? So x which I have taken as the greater number. This is thrice of the other number. That is 3 times of the other number. This is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. Can I put the value of x from equation number 2 in equation number 1? So that I, I can apply substitution method to solve it. Now on substituting the value of x from equation number 2 in equation number 1. Equation number 1 is x minus y is equal to 26. So at place of x I am going to put 3y. 3y minus y is equal to 26. 2y is equal to 26. So y is equal to 13. Now put the value of y in equation number 1. What was equation number 1? x minus y is equal to 26. Right? So here I am going to put the value of y. x minus 13 is equal to 26. So x is equal to 39. So thus the required numbers are 39 as well as 13. Fine. Now let us switch to the next question. This is question number third, part number fourth. The taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge together with the charge for the distance covered. For a distance of 10 km, the charge paid is rupees 105 and for a journey of 15 km, the charge paid is rupees 155. What are the fixed charges and the charge per kilometer? How much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometer? Here children you can come to know that whenever the journey will, journey will happen, the traveling will happen, definitely the passenger will have to pay a fixed charge. So let the fixed charge be rupees x and the charge per kilometer be rupees y. Fine. These are the two charges basically which we have to calculate. Now let us switch to the statement. First line I am going to read. For a distance of 10 kilometer, when I am going to cover per kilometer, then I am paying rupees y. So for covering the distance of 10 kilometer, definitely I have to pay rupees 10 y. Now according to question, Fixed charge will be paid by every passenger. So fixed charge is rupees x plus. For covering the distance of 10 km, I am paying 10y. So x plus 10y is equal to 105. This is the total charge paid by the passenger in case 1. 
Now let us discuss case number two. For a journey of fifteen kilometer, now how much distance is covered by the person? Fifteen kilometer. And per kilometer the charge is rupees y. So for fifteen kilometer definitely it will be fifteen y. And of course the fixed charge will also be paid. So the next equation will be x plus fifteen of y is equal to one fifty five. This is the total charge given in the question one fifty five. Correct for covering a distance of fifteen kilometer. Now, again, I am going to adopt the substitution method. You know very well. You have to calculate the value of any of the variable present in any of the equations. So find the value of x from equation number one and put it in equation number two. So x is equal to one hundred and five minus ten y. Getting this value, I am going to put in which equation? In equation number two. Equation number two is x plus Fifteen y is equal to one hundred and five. So at place of x, I am going to put one hundred and five minus ten y plus fifteen y will remain as it is is equal to one fifty five. Correct. Now minus ten y plus fifteen y has become five y. This one hundred and five has gone on right hand side. One fifty five minus one hundred and five is equal to fifty. So what is the value of y? That is ten. Now I am going to put this value y is equal to ten in any of the equation, either in equation number one or in equation number two, so that I can calculate the value of another value variable that is x. So I am going to put it in equation number one. What is equation number one? X plus ten y is equal to one hundred and five. See children, this is x plus ten y is equal to one hundred and five. X plus ten into in place of y I am putting ten. Is equal to one hundred and five. So this is x plus one hundred is equal to one hundred and five. So x is equal to one hundred and five minus one hundred. That is x is equal to five. This is what actually. This is the fixed charge which is paid by each and every passenger. Now children, what else you have to do? You have just calculated the fixed charge which is rupees x. Now what we have to do? We have to Calculate. We have already calculated y. Y was what? This was the charge per kilometer. So these are both the charges. X is equal to five, which is fixed charge, and y is equal to ten, which was charge per kilometer. What else is to be calculated? How much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of twenty-five kilometer? So switch to this point. Now amount to be paid for traveling the distance of twenty five kilometer fixed charge definitely will be paid by each and every passenger plus charge per kilometer is what rupees y must be multiplied by distance distance is what twenty five why I am multiplying it because total twenty five kilometer has been travelled by the passenger so this I have to calculate that is x plus twenty five y. X value I have just calculated. You know that is fixed charge, which is rupees five plus twenty five into this is charge per kilometer. That is rupees ten. So rupees five plus twenty five into ten. That is two fifty. So the total which the person has to pay that is rupees two hundred and fifty five for covering the distance of twenty five kilometer. Understood, children? Okay. Now this is next question. Next statement sum. This is question number third. Sixth part. Five years hence means five years later, the age of Jacob will be three times means thrice that of his son, his son's age. Right? Five years ago, Jacob's age was seven times that of his son's age. So, what are their present ages? So, what is to be done? Let the present age of Jacob's son be x years. Fine, and the present age of Jacob I have considered as y years. I am reaching on the question. Children, suppose if my age is twenty years right now, so what will be my age after ten years? Of course, it will be thirty. So what I have done, I have just added ten years in my present age. In the same manner, I have to do to calculate Jacob as well as his son's age. Five years later, hence means later, Jacob's age will be y plus five, and his son's age will be x plus five. What is said in the question? Five years later, Jacob's age is thrice 
of his son's age. If this age is thrice, so can I multiply Jacob's son's age by three so that both the ages will be equal and I will be capable to get an equation in two variable, which is a linear equation. So this is y plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 15. 3x will remain here. This y has gone on another side minus y. And 5 has also gone there. This is plus 10 is equal to 0. Now case number 2. 5 years ago. 5 saal pehle ki baat kar raha hai. So definitely if suppose at present my age is 20 years. So what was my age 5 years ago? Of course it was 20 minus 5. That was 15 years. The same concept we are going to apply for variables. Jacob age 5 years ago was y minus 5 and his son's age was x minus 5. What is said in the question? 5 years ago Jacob's age was 7 times. This age was 7 times. y minus 5 was 7 times. So let us make the age of his son as 7 times so that the ages of both the father as well as the son will be equal. So this is y minus 5 is equal to 7 into x, 7x minus 7, 5 is 35. So the equation is 7x minus y minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, what is to be done? From, I am just going to find the value of, find the value of y from equation number 1 and then I am going to put that value in equation number 2. What is equation number 1? It was 3x minus y plus 10 is equal to 0. So the value of y I am going to calculate because for me it is very convenient to calculate the value of y. Right? As there is no numerical coefficient along with y. So this is 3x plus 10 is equal to y. Now I am going to insert this value in which equation children? This was equation number 2. That is 7x minus y minus 30 is equal to 0. So, see this, I am going to put the value of y in it. This is 3x plus 10. This is 7x minus 3x minus 10 minus 30 is equal to 0. What has it become? 4x minus 40 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to 40. So, what is the value of x? That is 10. Now, I am going to put this value in this equation. y is equal to 3x plus 10. y is actually the age of Jacob, right? So, 3 into 10 plus 10 will become 30 plus 10 that is 40. So, what was the Jacob's age? Jacob's age was 40 years and the son's age was 10 years. Understood children? Now, you please note down your mathematics homework. Write down. You have to do question number 2, question number 3, second part, third part and fifth part of exercise 3.3. And question number 1, first part and second part of exercise 3.4. In exercise 3.4 basically you will be having some pairs of linear equations given. And both the methods are asked to apply. Elimination as well as substitution. But you have to do only substitution method. Because this concept I have taught you till now. Right? Now... Let us discuss the homework questions, solutions of chapter number 3, exercise 3.3, lecture number 3. The questions belong to NCERT only. Children, I gave you only 4 parts to do and all the parts were very very simple. But I found this part a little bit difficult for you because there is decimal present in it, right? So this is question number 1, fourth part, solved by substitution method. 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3. 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3. These are basically two equations given. Linear equations, right? So, we are going to solve them using substitution method. How to make it simplify first of all? What do you do? You multiply both the equations by 10. If you are multiplying 0.2 by 10, you are removing decimal, right? So, you will be getting... 2 upon 10 into 10, it will become 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 and it will become 4x plus 5y is equal to 23. The same I have written here, right? Now they have just become very simple equations. Definitely you can solve them. So what is to be done for substitution method? 
यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री एंड देन पुटिंग दैट वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन नंबर फोर सो दिस इज टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन माइनस थ्री वाई राइट चिल्ड्रन सो वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स दैट इज थर्टीन माइनस थ्री वाई अपॉन टू नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री दीज वर आई हैव गिवन द डिफरेंट नेम्स टू दैम थ्री एज वेल एज फोर राइट now i am going to put the value of x from equation number 3 which i have just got now in equation number 4 this is equation number 4 4x plus 5y is equal to 23 this 23 i have brought on this side has become minus 23 is equal to 0 so 4 into this is the value of x putting here 13 minus 3y upon y plus 5y minus 23 is equal to 0 i am going to cancel numerator by denominator this has become 2 into 13 minus 3y definitely will be multiply we will be getting 13 twos are 26 minus 3 twos are 6 6y plus 5y minus 23 now solving both these variables minus 6y plus 5y will become minus y this plus 26 and minus 23 will become plus 3 is equal to 0 so minus y will remain here i am going to take 3 on right hand side so y will be 3 understood now i am just going to put the value of y in equation number 3 this was equation number 3 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 let us put this value 2x plus 3 into 3 is equal to 13 so 2x plus 9 is equal to 13 so 2x is equal to 13 minus 9 that would give you 4 so x is equal to 2 so what were the two values which i have got of the variable that is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 hoping children that you may have understood the concept of substitution method and you must be capable to do these questions thank you and have a nice day